Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're going to find the equations of the line, both the parametric equations and the symmetric equations of a line in space when you're only given two points on the line. Here's point one and point two. So how do we do that? Well, since we want to have a parallel vector, we first want to find the parallel vector using the two points. The way that's done is to do this follow. We can say that the vector v is equal to, let's take 0.2 minus 0.1, 3 minus 2 in the i direction, plus negative 1 minus 4 in the j direction, and plus 1 minus a minus 3 in the k direction. What we've done here is we've simply taken the difference of the x, y, and z components of the two points to create a vector pointing from point 1 to point 2. And that's how that's done. We can then say that our parallel vector v can now be written as 1 in the i direction, minus 5 in the j direction, and plus 4 in the k direction. Now that we have our parallel vector, we can now create a vector, the a vector, which in essence, the a vector which in essence is the v vector, but we're going to add a parameter, the parameter t to that. We can say that this is equal to t times v, and that would be this vector right here. Now this could be an ar arbitrary vector to some other point, the point x, y, and z. So now we take a third point, an arbitrary point, and create an a vector, which would be in the same direction as the v vector, but will be either be longer or shorter than the v vector, and so we need the parameter t for that which means that this is equal to t times 1i minus 5j plus 4k, which means that the a vector is equal to 1t in the i direction minus 5t in the j direction and plus 4t in the k direction. We now write the following vector. We have a vector that we can then write to point 1. We call that the r sub naught vector. And now we have a second vector which points to, to the point x, y, z. We can then say that the r vector pointing to the arbitrary point x, y, z is equal to the r sub naught vector plus the a vector, which means that this can now be written as the r sub naught vector would be 2 plus 1t in the i direction plus 4 minus 5t in the j direction and plus a minus 3 plus 4t in the k direction. And since the r vector can be written as, since the r vector can be written as x in the i direction, I guess I don't need parentheses, plus y in the j direction, plus z in the k direction, we can then say that x must be equal to this, y must be equal to this, and z must be equal to this. And that's how we develop our parametric equations. We can now write that x is equal to 2 plus 1t, y is equal to 4 minus 5t, and z is equal to minus 3 plus 4t, the three parametric equations that describe that line. Or, if you want to find the symmetric equations, we can then move the 2 over to the other side and divide by the coefficient in front of t. We can now write, let me go over here and do that, we can then say that x minus t over 1 is equal to, we can then move the 4 across, we get y minus 4 divided by a minus 5, which is equal to z. When I bring the minus 3 across, it becomes plus 3 divided by 4. And since that all would be equal to t, I know that these are equal to one another as well. If you didn't quite follow what I just did, let me show you what I did again. I'll take the first equation here. I could write this as x minus 2 equals 1t. And then if I divide both sides by 1, I get x minus 2 over 1 is equal to t. I could do the same for the second equation. I can write y minus 4 divided by minus 5 is equal to t, and notice since the first equation is equal to t, the second equation is equal to t, I can then go ahead and set those all equal to each other and end up with the symmetric equation. So here's the parametric equation for the line, and here's the symmetric equation for the line. And that's how that's done.